In the last video, we went to town in GraphQL Playground just exploring around the API that the Nexus Prism plugin generates. In this video, we're going to go back into the code and we're going to create something called a computed field which Nexus supports. We're also going to show you how you can hide uh, other fields that Prisma Nexus automatically generates using Nexus. Um, so let's go ahead and go back into the code. And I'm going to do a little bit of cleanup here. I'm going to um, cancel out of our GraphQL server. And I'm going to hide the integrated terminal just to give us some more real estate here. You're going to go back into the index.ts file. This is the main file with all of our Nexus code. And you're going to come up to um, the employer uh, type that we created. I'm going to create a computed field called num employees. And what this field is going to do is just going to look at the number of employees that are currently under the employer and just print it out and return it. Um, so to do that, under the definition section, you'll create another field after this t.prisma fields. Um, so you, do, you just type in t. Dot and we've got this nice little autocomplete that Prisma gives us, which is great. Um, so I'm going to create a computed field and you can specify any type of field that you want. Um, for this, I'm actually going to do an int because it's the number of employees. And you can open up your brackets. The first parameter is going to be the name of the computed field. Um, and you could, like, if, you, if I were to hit control space here, um, it lists a lot of you know, recommendations, but I'm just going to call it num employees because it's a new field that I have not defined yet. And do a comma, and the second parameter is the options for this field. Um, so I'm going to open up a curly bracket and hit enter, um, and it's going to give me the list of stuff. Um, so for this, I'm going to add a description just because it's developer best practice. Um, number of employees under under um, the under a employer um, comma and control space again. And I'm just going to go right down to the resolve function, and uh, this is going to be an arrow function, and this is just standard GraphQL resolvers. If you're not familiar, this essentially is basically um, the code for the schema. So in Nexus, your schema and, uh, and, and code are together. So um, it's a type int num employees. And this is just the code that's actually going to generate the num employees um, property. And the arguments, it's basically typically three arguments. Your parent, um, your arguments, and your uh, context. The parent are the fields that come from um, your type up here. So it's basically the properties that the employer has. So if I actually hit um, control space here, you can see that the property that the employer has. Um, so in this case, I'm actually going to grab the ID, the employer's ID, nothing else. Uh, there's no arguments here. If I would have specify some arguments uh, for this thing. They would actually appear here, but there's nothing. Um, but on the context, there is something important that we'll grab from the context, and that's um, that's the actual uh, Prisma um, operation. So um, we'll actually use that in our resolver code. Now in our resolver function, what we're going to do is we're going to get the employees. So I'll, I'll specify um, a const employees. Uh, and then I'm eventually going to return the number of employees that this employer has. Um, and actually, I need to specify this function as a async function. That way, I can use await and then prisma dot. Um, and as you can see here, I just hit dot, and it gives me all the autocomplete. This is all of our CRUD functionality. So this is what that prisma um, operation allows us to do: is we can just uh, we can execute um, you know whatever code functionality we want right here. So I want to return the employees. So I specify employees here. Um, and this is the function, so let me open this up. 
and it's going to take in a, an object argument. Um, so let me just hit Control Space, and uh, if we look at the IntelliSense here, this is actually a good illustration to look at um, pagination, <coughs> sorting, and filtering support. So um, out of the box, this Nexus Prisma plugin um, offers uh, after, before, first, last, and skip, which is support for pagination. Order by is sort, and where is filtering. In this example, we're just going to do where, because we just need filtering support. So I'll do where, and I'll, um, it'll take in an object um, as well. And in this case, I'm actually going to, um, well, as you can see here, there's a lot of filtering options that are out of the box. Um, but I'm actually going to specify employer, which is these employees' employer. Um, and this is actually going to take in another object. Um, and this is actually going to take in our ID, which essentially is um, the ID from the parent employer. Um, so if I save this, I'll get some nice uh, formatting that Prettier does for me. And uh, all I'll, um, then I'm going to just want to return the length of this employees array because Prisma is returning an array of employees. Um, and I can do return employees dot length. And this will return the number of employees. And uh, just for good measure, yeah, okay, that's fine. Um, actually, no, for good measure, just to show illustration purposes of the power of Prisma, if you do um, employees, and then since this is an array, if you do like dot map, and like employee, you can actually see the properties um, of the employee right here. That's the power of Prisma, it's like type safe IntelliSense. Um, okay, so let me just undo that. Um, uh, please dot length. Um, that'd be good to go now. So I'll save that. And then um, we can go back to our GraphQL Playground. And if I add another property here, let me just let me just refresh the browser. And I can do control space. And I can see number of employees down there at the bottom. Oh, and looky there. We've got our description right here. Number of employees under an employer. So again, use the description field. It helps the developer experience. Hit enter. And let's run this query. And now we can see number of employees too. And we can actually validate this if we just, you know, Call employees and then name. So we can see here, employer MacBoy Digital has two employees. Corey MacBoy, Sarah Cahill, same thing with Ray's Automotive. All right, now there's potential to hide a field, um, or you know just do a subset of field using Nexus. So I'll just go over that really quickly. Um, so let me just. Um, Reduce the size of this terminal, and I'll come up here um, to. Let me just do employees, and let's say maybe I don't want to do all fields. Instead, maybe I'll just do a subset. So, let me just do email, comma. Um, ID, name, and let's say maybe I don't want to expose the status. I'll just do everything but status. Um, put a URL and uh, create it at. I think that's all. Yeah, that's it. Okay, so basically I've got all fields. Instead of the star, I have all fields except for status. And let me just save that. 
and my terminal, sh sh the GraphQL server should automatically update. Um, so let me refresh this browser. So on this employer side, let me just erase this employees. Um, we're actually, sorry, this is the, on the employee. So let me actually come to the employee section. Um, if I hit enter and press control space, you can see all my options here. As you can see, there's no status field. Um, so essentially, now that I've updated the Nexus config to basically not include the status, it won't include in the GraphQL Playground. Um, and I should, even if I like type it in here, it'll get mad at me and tell me it's not um, a status, it's not a field. So if I hit play, yeah, it'll throw an error saying you can't query that. All right, so that's, um, that's hiding fields and computed fields using GraphQL Nexus. Just to kind of recap, um, one thing that you may have noticed was uh, when I updated this Prisma or this Nexus config, I did not need to redeploy Prisma. You only need to redeploy Prisma if you update this data model. Um, if you just do anything in here, it, all you have to do is just you know up, update the yarn run start, which is all automatic um, with with this current config. Um, so that's it for uh, for GraphQL Nexus. I hope you've enjoyed this tutorial. I hope you've learned something. If you have any recommendations, um, feel free to leave them in the comments. And if you like this content, uh, like this video and subscribe for future videos. Uh, thank you and have a good day.